here's the deal. There are certain clothing items and combinations men wear that look completely disgusting to, <laughs> to women. These things destroy a man's style and make him look extremely unattractive. And in this video, I'll be showing you what these clothing items and combinations are so you can avoid them at all costs and make sure your style game is not repulsive to the women that you fancy. Plus at the end, I'll also reveal the one thing which looks the absolute worst on a man. So pay attention, take note of each item on the list and watch till the end. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very personal wing girl. Every week, I'll give you the no BS insider information about what women really want, plus instantly effective methods to win over any girl you like. So just hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. All right, let's get started. Here are 12 things men wear that women hate, plus one thing which looks the absolute worst. Number one, cargo shorts. Look, I get it. Cargo shorts, cargo pants can be very comfortable. Plus, it's super functional with all the pockets and stuff, right? You can carry so many things in those pants. But honestly, style-wise, it looks terrible when you wear it as part of your day-to-day -day outfit. And trust me, there's hardly any girl out there who thinks otherwise. Cargo shorts, cargo pants were made for outdoor activities and hiking and trekking, and that's the time and place to wear them. If you wear them in your daily life with t-shirts, polos, dress shirts, jackets, I've seen that, or God forbid, with suits, even worse, it's going to look extremely unattractive. Just look at these guys. Women notice you in them and they will feel immediately repulsed. So avoid them unless you're going to go for a hike or a trek. For your day-to-day -day outfits, it's much, much better to stick to stuff like a nice pair of chinos or joggers or jeans. Number two, flip-flops with jeans. We women pay a lot of attention to a man's footwear, more than you'd imagine. And wearing a pair of flip-flops with jeans is just such a turnoff for us. Unless you live down by the beach or are backpacking in Southeast Asia. Those are the only times I consider it acceptable to wear flip-flops with jeans. Flip-flops and jeans never have and never will go together. And it totally ruins your aesthetic. And it's an extremely weird combination. If you're wearing jeans, it's a hundred times better to pair them with some nice sneakers or boots or even even like a cool lighter weight shoe. Flip flops can go with shorts on a hot summer day or maybe while you're at the beach or attending a pool party or, or something like that. That's where they belong. But if you wanna make sure you make a good impression on the ladies you meet in your daily life, in our daily life, like at a, a cafe, a park, at the office and so on, wearing flip flops is a complete no-no. It makes you look really odd, kinda short, and not attractive at all. So save yourself from making this huge mistake. All right, number three, sports glasses. These sunglasses are by far the most unflattering shape of sunglasses a man can possibly wear. Many guys think that they look like sleek and stylish wearing them, but the truth is there's absolutely nothing cool about these shades. Sports sunglasses, by definition, were built for sports. They were created to protect the eyes of athletes when they play their sports. They're in no way a style piece and wearing them in normal life is definitely something you must avoid. It doesn't do you any good. Instead of these glasses, you should opt for a pair of classic aviators or wayfarers that fit your face shape nicely. Those are time-tested, super stylish items that can instantly elevate your appearance and force women to pay attention to you wherever you go. Number four, socks with sandals. Okay. I'm gonna be very blunt with this one. If dressing bad was a crime, wearing socks with sandals would result in a life sentence. I mean, look at these guys. Even David Beckham can't pull them off. How awful is that? Like I mentioned before, we women pay a lot of attention to a man's footwear, but there's nothing worse for us than to see a man wearing socks with sandals or flip-flops, it's awful. I mean, why do guys even do this? I can understand that sandals can be comfortable to wear, plus they're extremely easy to put on, but why would you wanna pair socks with them? If you're feeling cold, ditch the sandals and get some closed-toed footwear like sneakers or boots or dress shoes or slippers, you know? Do that instead. You can happily pair them with socks and there's no problem at all. Wearing socks with sandals together makes you look incredibly silly and kind of immature. It gives the impression that you don't care about your presentation whatsoever. And it works against you when it comes to attracting women. So the moral of the story is you must avoid it. Never ever wear socks and sandals together if you want to wow the ladies or even if you just want them to kind of like you. Number five, tight skinny fit jeans. 
This is the worst fit of jeans a man can possibly wear. Skinny fit jeans make a man look juvenile and totally feminine. It's ridiculously unflattering. You can go with slim fit jeans and that looks pretty good. But when the jeans are too tightly attached to your legs and people can clearly notice the shape of your thighs, kneecaps, leg muscles, your butt, your you know what, it becomes super unattractive. No girl, and I mean no girl, likes a man wearing skinny, skinny, skinny fit jeans. So avoid it at all costs and stick to the regular fit or slim fit. All right, number six, too many accessories. Accessories can make or break your look. If you wear too many accessories, it generally does the latter. I have seen so many guys these days who will wear like four to five bracelets, two to three locket chains, a watch, sunglasses, rings on all of their fingers, all at the same time. And this is just overkill. I know you may think that all of these accessories will make you stand out and draw attention to you. Am I right? It's like peacocking. I mean, it does draw attention to you, but not in the way that you'd want. When, when women see you wearing all these accessories, they think you're trying too desperately to get their attention. And that makes you look extremely unattractive to us. When it comes to accessories, less is more. So let me repeat that. When it comes to accessories, less is more. Stick to three to four accessories at a time. No more than that. A nice watch, a simple bracelet, a cool pair of shades, and occasionally a simple necklace or locket chain. And that's perfect. That's the right combination and amount of accessories that will make you stand out in a great way. Trust me. All right, number seven, running shoes with jeans. No matter what type of jeans you're wearing, running shoes can never, ever look good with it. Wearing running shoes with jeans makes you look really immature and really bad. It's what teenagers do mostly. If you're an adult man who intends to look stylish, avoid wearing running shoes with jeans. It doesn't serve you in any way. Instead, pair jeans with sneakers or boots. They look much better with jeans, as I mentioned before in the video. And if you really want to wear running shoes, wear it with a pair of joggers or something like that. They go much better with joggers than with jeans. All right, number eight, baggy clothes. The most important thing when it comes to clothing is the fit, yet most men ignore this fact and therefore destroy their look without even knowing it. They could have the best clothes on, but they fit incorrectly and it totally makes them look awful. You see, you can get the color wrong, the style wrong, the combination wrong and still pull it off sometimes. But when you get the fit wrong, it ruins your outfit for good. For instance, if you wear oversized baggy clothes, you're just gonna look small and childish and weird. It's not good for your figure. It's not good for your presentation. All right, yes, you'll see some rappers and celebrities pull this off, but for most men, it absolutely does not work. Guys who are skinny or on the thinner side especially should avoid this at all costs. On the contrary, if you wear clothes that are too tight, like some muscular men often do to show off their body, well, there's no polite way to say this. You basically look like a douchebag. <laughs> the fit needs to be right for you to look good, no matter what you get. A dress shirt, a suit, a t-shirt, jeans, whatever it is, the fit should be your number one priority. Just getting the fit right will do 80% of the work in making you look amazing. All right, number nine, too much cologne. Truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of cologne, but I know that many women like it. But just like accessories, when it comes to cologne, less is more. If people can smell you from a mile away and be like, oh, Tom is coming and you're like not even in the room, it doesn't do you any good, especially with women because we're extremely sensitive to smell. If you're wearing too much cologne, it might feel like you're choking the people around you, even if you're wearing a fancy one that was really expensive with an amazing odor. It's best to apply only one to two squirts on the major heat producing areas on the body, like your wrist, your neck, behind the ears, etc., and leave it at that. That way the fragrance can only be discovered when someone is in close proximity to you and it does not risk giving them a choking experience. Instead, it's actually pleasant and refreshing, which is the effect fragrance should have. Number 10 old worn out clothes. This should be like a no brainer, but still so many guys do this. They'll go out wearing clothes and shoes with old stains, holes, strings coming out, faded fabric and so on. Old and worn out pieces that need to be thrown out or donated 
immediately. But for some reason, they hold on to it and wear it in public. And this looks absolutely horrible. It makes you come across as sloppy and lazy. And of course, it completely murders your style. The best thing you could do is let go of these clothes and buy new ones. I know sometimes it can be hard to find the time to go shopping and replace old clothes with new ones. And maybe that's why some guys choose to hold onto them. But like seriously, it's doing you a massive disservice. Your old clothing items have run their course and it's only hurting your chances with women if you wear them in public. Those old t-shirts, jeans, shoes, jackets, all of them need to be replaced with new ones. Number 11 sunglasses worn indoors or at night. Look, unless you're Jack Nicholson or Robert Downey Jr., you need to avoid this. Wearing sunglasses indoors or at night make you look arrogant or, and stupid. If women see you doing this, they'll immediately assume you're full of yourself and you've very little intelligence. I mean, think about it. Sunglasses are meant to protect your eyes from the sunlight. That's their primary purpose. So what's the point of wearing them indoors or at night. It makes no sense. It's like wearing a raincoat outside on a bright sunny day. If you really want to wear sunglasses inside or during nighttime, it's better to go for a pair of prescription glasses or blue light blocking glasses. Like if you just like the frames, then do that. They're completely acceptable during the day and nighttime, indoor and outdoors, and they can still elevate your outfit and give you that extra sophistication that you're probably hoping for with the sunglasses. All right, number 12 big brand logos and graphics. Lots of men out there feel that wearing branded clothing will be impressive to women. So they roll up wearing their Versace t-shirts, their big Gucci belts, bright Tommy Hilfiger caps, and so on and so on. You've seen it. With big, bold logos showing to confirm the brand they're sporting. They think this type of clothing might signal high status and women will take notice. But the truth is women are not impressed by it at all. In fact, when a man wears like branded clothes like that with huge logos screaming out of their outfits, it feels to us like he's desperate for her attention and approval. Like in the 80s, this was cool, but not now. It seems like he's trying to show off because deep down he's insecure about himself and craves external validation. It's like he's trying really hard to show people that he's rich and he has super social status. And this is not appealing at all to women, any woman. In fact, the only people who might find it impressive are a few male buddies of yours and maybe some gold diggers if you happen to meet them. That's it. Now, I'm not saying don't wear branded clothing. You can definitely wear all the branded stuff you want. All I'm saying is that when the big branded logos and graphics are showing in your outfit, that's when it sends the wrong message about you. And that's what you should avoid. Meaning, if you choose to go for branded clothes, go for the pieces that don't have huge logos and graphics on them. All right, so that's it. That concludes our list. But before you go, there's one important thing I have to mention to you. While all these clothing items and combinations can make you look bad, the one thing that looks the absolute worst on a man is a clear lack of confidence. You can get away with wearing some of the items I mentioned in the list today, but there's no way you can get women to like you when you lack confidence. You can go out and get a fancy car, make loads and loads of money, work out, build a killer physique, invest in fashion, and take your style to the next level, but absolutely none of that can get you a gorgeous girlfriend, wife, or even a casual hookup partner for the night if you lack confidence. Women are biologically wired to be repulsed by guys who lack confidence and irresistibly attracted to men who don't. And there's no possible way to break or hack this rule of female biology. It's built into us, which means if you wanna make sure you attract the women you want, the very first thing you need to do is level up your confidence. As your wing girl, I can give you a remarkable little resource to help with that. Recently, I shot a video where I reveal how any man can double or triple or even quadruple his confidence in just five to 10 minutes a day using one simple but astonishingly powerful technique. This technique has been used in the military to build soldiers with nerves of steel. It's been used by public speakers, former American presidents, MMA fighters, top business leaders, and so many other groups of high performers whose job needs them to remain cool, calm, and confident under extreme pressure situations. Not only that, but I had the power of this astonishing technique tested on 46 of my students, and the results left me startled. They used this technique for only a single month and saw a 300% rise in their success rate with women, meaning triple the phone numbers, triple the dates, and triple the sexual encounters, all as a result of this ridiculously simple but super powerful technique. I didn't 
teach them any flirting tricks or pickup lines or special body language hacks or anything like that. Only this one technique and they tripled their success rate with women. What's even crazier is that you don't have to wait for 30 days to see results after using this technique. No, you'll start to feel the boost of confidence and self-assuredness right after the first time you use this. Yes, the very first time that you use it, it's going to start to work wonders on you. And if you have trouble believing that, just check it out for yourself. I, it's free, I have it available for free. Click the link on the screen or the link in the description right now and discover my powerful confidence boosting technique. You'll see a short video on the page you're led to that describes what this technique is and how to start using it. Plus, if you scroll down a little, you'll find another video where I personally give you a demonstration of the power of this technique, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use it. If you simply listen to that second video on the page, you'll see an instant boost in your confidence and energy and the power of this ama amazing technique will be proven to you then and there. So don't wait. It's free for you. Just click the link on your screen or the link in the description box and check it out now. And I will see you on the page. I'll also see you next week.